So for those of you who don't know, this is my good friend Tristan. He's a trained chef, he's a legend, <laughs> and he's got a dish for us today. What are we making? We're going to make ceviche of sea bream, jalapenos, tomatoes nice. with tiger's milk. So ceviche is a method of cooking fish where you use acid instead of heat. What's tiger's milk though? So tiger's milk's made up of lime juice, yeah. onion, celery, ginger, a yeah, nice. couple of red chilies for a bit of spice, yeah. coriander, and I'm gonna infuse some kaffar lime leaves at the end of it as well. Amazing. Yeah. Wicked. And then we'll use that to cook the fish. Basically, yeah, that's the idea of it, yeah. Amazing. So the fish we've got is a sea bream. Sea bream can be found at most of your fishmongers. We're in the UK, if you're in America, I'm not really sure if you have it available there. Pink bream, a small one, would probably be a similar fish for you to get. Now I went to the fishmonger, I made sure the eyes were risen and they were clear. There was no smell coming from the gills. They took the gills out for me, but you can see it's still nice and red inside. Firm fish, not too slimy. I've asked them to scale it and I've asked them to gut it. Any fishmonger in the UK will do that for you. It's just the messiest bit of the job. Mm -hmm. So I'll start prepping this up. And what are you doing with that? I'm gonna start making the tiger's milk. Yeah, so amazing. I'm gonna juice my limes first. Yeah. Cause that's probably the longest bit and then can start chopping up all these bits. Amazing. So so prepping a fish, when you've got a round fish, I know this doesn't look necessarily round, but it is classed as a round fish. There's a general rule that you can apply to all sorts of fish prep. Now, what I do first is take all the fins off. So you start with the tail fin, you go up the dorsal fin, always go from tail to head, then the anal fin comes off. This is just to allow you to have a little bit more space during the prepping process. So Tristan, you're a chef. Um, where have you cooked, man? Like, what's what was the history of you cooking and, and like, um, getting into food and stuff? And... Well, I started cooking. When I was sixteen. I think I did a. I think it's a classic story for a lot of young lads, like in yeah. a bakery. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, yeah. A bakery. A bakery. Okay, yeah. cool. I, I was. Uh, I think I was. 15 actually, I literally offered just to do a couple of weeks here and there. And yeah, amazing. Just uh, getting up at like four, half four yeah. at the age of 15, <laughs> it's a hard one. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, 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 a bit tougher than a paper round. <laughs> yeah, I did one of those as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, and that's kind of, I wouldn't say that triggered it, it was kind of like, oh, you can do that as a job, you know? And mm. then um, I got into college. Yeah. Uh, the cooking college yeah. for three years. Nice. And they sent me to France my final year actually uh, to this hotel. And then when I came back, that actually got my foot in the door to get to my first restaurant in Liverpool Street. And uh, how long ago was that now? 12 years ago. Yes, 12 yeah. years ago. Since nice. then actually, I actually, the company had this first Michelin star restaurant right. called Launston Place. Yeah. And that is my first one that I ever got into. That's <laughs> where it all changed basically. You sign your name in the online and you, you take up that year of your life and you commit to it and then you just, that's it, you know, and then you're in. You've yeah, kind of got that training and you kind of, yeah. It's grown up a bit more. So I've just taken the fillet off of this fish. I'm going to skin it as well, because we're not going to be breaking that skin down with any temperature. It's just going to be the acid. And I'm putting the celery in now. That's going to literally snap it and go straight in. I've got the onions, chili, and what I'm going to say, coriander. Straight in, stalks and everything. Where did you learn to cook this dish? Do you know what? It's actually, it's one of my favorite dishes when I'm hungover, basically. Oh, really? Yeah, with like tiger's milk from the lime juice and all that stuff. It's like, yeah. like the raw tomatoes, the, the spice from the jalapeno, it makes you feel so much better. So I, right. kind of, I had it ordered from a restaurant once. Yeah, nice. And it made me feel so much better. I was like, oh, I've got to learn how to make this, basically. Yeah. And it's so simple. Like, just, if you have this milk, in your freezer, bagged up, and you just get some fish in and some veg and onions, yeah. chop it up, just add the milk, and you're good to go. And you're it's weird, man, because like stereotypical hungover food, mm. you wouldn't think of ceviche. Yeah. In my mind, I'd think of you know fried breakfast. Yeah, that's what you crave. Do you know that's what I mean? Not what your body needs, though. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, that's the thing. So yeah, you kind yeah, of like yeah, yeah. A lot of raw stuff on some spice and like. Yeah, nice. You know, it's it's hydrating and all that. Uh, I'm gonna chop the ginger up. Cool. In the bowl, I'm gonna blend it. Just need to get a cup of water. But equal amounts of like lime juice to water, basically. Right, I'm gonna waz this. But I've had this stuff in my freezer for ages now, and just wake up and just I drink it. Put this in your cocktail. Really? It's unreal, man. Yeah. That's amazing. Deep flavors, yeah. Yeah, it's really like pungent. All the herbs and the lime juice isn't too acidic. Nice. No, it. All right, I'm just gonna season up a little bit. Got a bit of salt and a bit of sugar going in there. Yeah, nice. And I'm gonna crush some kaffar limes. 
slice some ginger through it. Is Usually it? you'd have this kind of marinated overnight. Yeah. That'd be ideal with the ginger and stuff like that. But yeah, you know. nice. Good way to get ahead as well. Yeah, exactly that. So I've taken the bones off my bream. I've just got the little pin bones that are inside the flesh and they run down where the spine bone connects to the fish. So this is like a mixed salad. Yeah, exactly that. You can generally make this out of anything you wanted really. Yeah. You know. You don't have to have the spice in there, you can use different types of veg. Traditionally, it's always got red onion in it, and that's kind of the only thing you can tie it down to it. Anything else you want in there, you can go for it, you know? Yeah, wicked. Yeah. So what are you up to at the minute, Tris? I am head production chef of a pasta bar in Piccadilly Circus Amazing. called Lotto Pasta. Check no. it out. <laughs> <laughs> that looks delicious. It just it's, looks healthy. Yeah, it's just I mean? health, but yeah, yeah, literally. Everything you want, the acidity, the sugar, the salt, the fresh vegetables. How long is the bream going to be in there for? Uh, I mean, at least uh, up to 10 minutes. Yeah? Enough to, yeah, you'll see the colour that's slightly changed. I mean, that's fresh enough, you could eat it raw anyway, so you're just yeah. kind of looking to get some some kind of breakdown from the acid and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, nice. No, a bit more texture, it's kind of nice if it's a bit firmer, you know, got something to chew on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and you want this punchy. Yeah, exactly Because that. you're not having that, you're transferring the flavour into this. Into that, exactly. That. So yeah, it's yeah. Gonna be way over, and then yeah, it's going to go into the fish. Yeah, amazing. I'm going to set this aside now. So fish is good. Yeah, you can chop um, some bits now. So I've got the bream into fillets, and now we're just skinning off as close as you can to the skin, and you detach all of that skin. The reason we do it close is because we want the fat. Yeah, you definitely. Want, you want that fat content on the skin of the <coughs> bream. So don't worry if it's got the shiny bit on it, the pink bit on it, it's all part of the process. I'm gonna prep all the other bits, gonna go through it now basically. Got some really nice heritage tomatoes. I've never seen a purple tomato before. Yeah. That's first for me. Yeah. So how thick do you want this sliced up? Centimetre, yeah, two centimetres, nice. that, yeah. That's to allow the flavour to get into the flesh. Yeah, you can do it thinner, it will cook a lot faster, but you know, I think you just still, if you imagine it kind of cooking from the outside and you've still got that raw fish in the middle, it's like rare. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. It's kind of vibe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The outside's nice. got a bit of texture. So can you overcook this? Yeah, you can technically, but you're still like, you know, it's not actually seeing any heat. It's not like right. squeezing the juices out. It's just kind of going to tenderize at some point. But like, yeah, yeah, I've left yeah. one in some tigers when we go overnight before and I ate it in the morning still. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. it, was, it was still fine. It's yeah, like, yeah, it's still yeah, got yeah. the flavor. It's not like, overcooked kind of squeezed out fish yeah, you know? amazing. yeah it's such an alien like thought for me yeah yeah to have like something like this for a hangover cure yeah Fine. not against it at all i think it makes perfect sense yeah keep some of this let's go out tonight yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are so nice these tomatoes look at that yeah so me and tristan actually worked together a couple of times we worked together in a restaurant in london and then we worked together on a private island in the caribbean which was a little bit different a lot, <laughs> a lot of fun <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i suppose you know this isn't too dissimilar to some of the food we'd served out there no not really because of the heat yeah you'd, you'd want something like this out there i reckon something fresh yeah but the awesome. tiger's milk man i think that's a touch of genius mate to be honest yeah yeah, I've never heard of that before. Oh, Even awesome. in restaurants, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Nice. Like I say, it's, yeah, it's traditionally Peruvian, so you don't have that many Peruvian restaurants in London, actually. So yeah. I think that's why, probably. It's quite a small country. Yeah. Ecuador and Peru, so that's probably why, maybe. They've got a good name for themselves, haven't they? Do you know what I mean? Tiger's mm. Milk? And yeah. Moya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever else they've got. <laughs> <laughs> All the other stuff I don't know. So the fish is done. Chef. Yes, lovely. Um, Go for that, yeah. So put that in a bowl, ready for the yeah. tiger milk? Yes, mate, bowl it up. Wicked. Lovely, I'm nearly done here. So what's left to do now is the almond milk. That's the almond milk, um, yeah. It's called almond milk. Is it almond milk? Blended up almonds, really. Yeah. Kind of like a ajo, what do they call it? Ajo blanco, yeah, kind of. It's like just consistency it's the wise. consistency wise, you want it quite thick. So I've soaked these almonds overnight. They're blanched almonds. You can do the same with almonds with skin on if that's all you can get. We've got them into a blender. And now we're gonna blend them up. Normally with almond milk, you blend it and you pass off the milk that comes out. With this, we're gonna properly blend it, which we yeah. want flavored. So flavorings you want in there, Triz, we're looking at kaffir lime. Kaffir lime, yeah, I think that should be it, to be honest. Okay, nice. Because you want that, it's gonna be quite a calming part of it. This is a bit spice, you've got jalapenos, you've got red onion, this is gonna be like the, the right. calmer side of it. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like a little, like a little fat, like. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, like a little fat dressing type. That's it. So let's keep fat, it luxurious maybe is a better luxurious, word. Luxurious, yeah, unctuous. <laughs> Homogenous. <No. laughs> so kaffir lime has just got this amazing aroma in the zest. You can't really use the juice because they're so tiny. Generally used for the zest and the leaves. I'm gonna blend this quick. I'm gonna strain off this milk, milk of the tiger. <laughs> and that's how I saved seven people's lives. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually, uh, Oh man, that's yeah. wicked. That's no, no. literally spot on. That's yeah. straight up. 
We're so surprised, we did it. <laughs> Quick cut. Yeah. So you're gonna need a high power blender if you make this, because if you don't, you may end up with something that's slightly grainy. Make sure the almonds are soaked properly overnight, 24 hours. Yeah, at least. Uh, and then you blend it up and you'll end up with something like this. And it looks like a <laughs> properly made, <laughs> we yeah. made it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> properly homogenized puree, like a really thick, nice, silky milk. All right, that's in the fridge. Lovely, I'm nearly done here. What do you reckon the shelf life on that milk? You get three days. So freeze that, you would say? I'd freeze this down, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, if it's, you think about, well, it's quite preservative because how much lime juice is in there. So yeah, you get five yeah. days out of this. And the salt, potentially. Yeah, exactly that. But yeah, freeze it down, last forever. So you'd have that pre-made, you'd have the milk pre-made, mm -hmm. you'd get your fresh vegetables cut. That's it, yeah. You'd mix and you'd go. Good to go. Yeah, yeah sweet. So like, you know, you're having a dinner party, mate. I've done this for so many times. Yeah. You just have fish chopped, veg chopped. Pull this out of the freezer. Yeah, nice. Good to go. So all this is done, celery's done. Oh, it might be nice actually if you julienne a bit of this up. Yeah, nice. Put the garnish yeah, on top. So that's your fish. Lovely. So yeah, I'm gonna now chuck some tiger's milk with the fish. Amazing. Get it cooking. Amount wise, you wouldn't weigh it. No, you just want it just covered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just so it's it's in there cooking, you know. Yeah. You see what I mean? Like how much we got out of yeah, like two yeah. sticks of celery, half yeah. an onion. Amazing. We've got that for ages. And then the rest of that just goes straight in the freezer. Absolutely. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely. I'm looking at that, it looks a bit mental. Yeah. But if you, like no part of your brain goes, Oh, I'm just gonna tuck into that now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you yeah. Just gotta, but the I'm flavour just... and the smell and mm -hmm. everything coming off it is like mm. delicious. Yeah. Really good. So all the mise en place essentially is done. It's done, mate, yeah. So we can talk now. Yeah, let's do it. About women. Oh, I see you got a ring on your finger. I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong Which one. <laughs> yeah. I'm engaged, getting married soon. Yeah, nice. Yeah, 18th of July next year. Amazing. It's in the books. Now, now it's scary. Yeah. We've been talking about it for ages and now it's booked. Yeah, nice. We have to do it. <laughs> yeah, nice. Relationships and kitchens. Oh, yeah. You've obviously gone into a job now where you've got a little bit more free time. Mm -hmm. Not a lot more, but a little bit more. Oh, fair enough. Do you more. think that sort of adding to the ease of the relationship, sort of managing social life and kitchen life? 100%, and... mate, yeah. No, yeah. That was the biggest bit of it. I've never had a job like this where I finish latest, a busy seven o'clock you know, yeah. in the evening. And uh, it's no service. And that's still a full day. Yeah, it's still full. It's a normal day. Yeah. You know what I mean? To it's every, a normal to, day. Yeah, no, to other industries, that is a that's, That's amazing. Long... Like you don't know a chef that gets to walk out of the kitchen at yeah. seven in the evening. You know, yeah. so it's perfect. I still get to kind of get my fix of playing with food. You know, yeah. and I work in a team and a manager team, and it's what I like love doing. Yeah. But then I get to put my bag on and go see my wife and my cats. You yeah, know, which yeah, is like yeah. the other part of life which I love just as much. Yeah. And now I have both of them. I mean, I know a lot of people like I'd say you have to do it when you're young. You know, that's why I'm saying from 16 I did like as many styles as I could. Yeah. And then got to 25, 26 was like you know. Wouldn't mind not, yeah. not being in a kitchen for 20 hours a day, but yeah. um, but you can only do that once you've got all that behind you. Yeah. You know, so you've got I to think... sacrifice your younger years instead of when you get 30, 35, you're going to start yeah. start doing 20 hour days. Then yeah, you know, it's not not really doesn't sound right. You know, no, you've got to it do it while you can. No, it doesn't. While you're young, you bounce back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> More time to make tiger milk ceviche. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Ooh, so you bit. see the outsides are starting to change the colour a little bit. It's yeah. Still, it's doing its thing. It's getting in there. Yeah, nice. It is. It's firming up. We've got a bowl. Yeah, lovely. We've got our herbs. Yep. A little bit of oil. Oh, yeah, I might. Yeah, that's a good yeah. shout. I don't think that's traditional either, but some yeah. glossy kind of sexy oil going through. And it. we're doing that because you've got the acidity, because you've got the freshness. Yeah. The tomatoes, it is winter here, so it's, they're a little bit more acidic. So what are we doing? We're using our heads. And we're going to add a little bit more fat, a little bit more of that unctuous sort of yeah. coating to balance all that flavour. And it's about balance, isn't it? Exactly, mate. Yeah. We've got the almond milk and it's been in the fridge. It's set up slightly and the fat in the almonds has actually started to set. So it's got thicker and it's almost turned into this like, I would say like yogurt. a thin yogurt. Yeah, like, it? like, yeah. It's like an yeah. almost yogurty type yeah. consistency. No dairy, banging full of flavour, the kaffir lime, all those bits and pieces. Yes. You're dressing the salad. I'm dressing the salad, adding all the bits we chopped now. Yeah. I'm gonna take the fish out of this. So yeah, just gonna add in everything you chopped later. So the but total the total amount of veg and the total amount of fish, 50-50 yeah. is I'd a nice. Say so, mate. Yeah, that sounds lovely, yeah. That looks delicious. Cost of living, no <laughs> cooking. So we're doing this with bream. Yeah. Would you do this with like salmon or tuna? Or Absolutely, like... mate, salmon, definitely. But the fattier ones, because everything else is so clean. And the... You got like the bass. Bream, yeah. with the skin, all that sort of goodness in there. Yeah, traditionally I think it's always actually bass. Oh really? Yeah, like in Peru, I think that's the, the, the traditional. Oh amazing. The bass, yeah. yeah, it's plate. I mean, you've got so many colors, yeah. and greens and like reds and all that. And then for this dressing, what are you thinking, over the top? I think, yeah, over the top, around the outside. Yeah, nice. That's looking delicious. 
Just fresh, isn't it? Fresh, mate, yeah. Beautiful. Not the milk. Do you know why they call it milk? Because I was expecting something a little bit more cloudy. Well, apparently it's because um, it's really it's really good for you. It gives you a bit of energy boost. And apparently right. it's an aphrodisiac. Right. So after drinking it, you feel a bit like a tiger. Like, <laughs> 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 Easy tiger. Yeah, no <laughs> And then just some of the julienne kaffir lime leaf over the top. And normally you just infuse kaffir lime leaf, but if you cut it that thin, it's palatable, isn't it? Yeah, for it sure. It just gives a little bit of that sort yeah. of hit that you want. I'm gonna zest on top. Easy big flavours. I'm gonna touch that oil. Yeah, stunning. That's it. So eating this, what do you reckon? Spoon, fork? Spoon, definitely yeah. spoon, mate. Yeah, okay. go for it. So we'll dive in. Attack. Oh yeah, that fish flakes as well, doesn't mm. it? Mental. Mmm. I think half your lime. That's delicious. Yeah? Mmm. Lovely. And the almond. Mmm. Just, just helps them. bring everything back down yes. together. Yeah, like you said, that fatty kind of. You get the fish. Yeah, it's delicious. You like it? Absolutely delicious. Nice. Man. Thank you very much. No worries, man. Thank you. So. Oh, yeah. That's it. Thank you for coming. No worries. Thank you for having me. No, absolutely fine. We're going to eat the rest of this. Ceviche bream, tiger milk, almond puree, jalapenos, tomatoes, onions. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh right. That's, that's my line. <laughs>